All right, we'll go ahead and get started just so we don't run out of time. Um, I wanna thank everyone for joining and welcome you to the Milestone Virtual Job Fair event. Um, I'd like to introduce you to Michelle. Uh, she's gonna tell you a little bit about their company, the job openings they have, and how you can apply for those. So I'll pass it off to you, Michelle. Hi hey guys, I am Michelle. I am one of the recruiters here at Milestone. Um, so at Milestone, we serve individuals with developmental and intellectual disabilities. Um, we are located in the Rockford area and we have around 40 locations in just this area. We have a mix of day training, residential, and we have group homes as well. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to go over um, our website, kind of give you guys a brief overview and show you how to apply. Applying online is the quickest way for us. Um, we do check it daily. Um, so we're, you know, always looking. We have positions open currently. Um, and I'll kind of go over the positions that we do have open. Um, Ariel, reviewing my screen. You're not sharing it yet. Okay, I will go ahead and share my screen then. Um, can everybody see everything? Yeah, it looks good. Uh, well, okay. I can see your desktop. I don't see any windows you have open. Okay. So, all right. So this is our website. Um, so our website is milestone-inc-il.org. Um, and what you see when you come in is you see, you know, how we're helping um, fight COVID with us. You see some of our individuals in masks and, you know, having fun at home. So the important part of this is you are going to come into our employment section. You are going to click careers. When you come to the careers, it shows you all the jobs that we have open. So currently right now we have a cook position open. We have a direct service provider. We have a home coordinator an LPN, um, our Qualified Intellectual Disabilities Professional, um, and we have an RN position open as well. We'll kind of go over each uh, one of these briefly and kind of give you a general idea. So with our cook position, this is a first shift only position, um, so you're not required to work PMs or nights or anything. This position, um, you will help um, cook all the food for, we have a cook for Elmwood Heights and for Rockville. Um, Rockville and Elmwood Heights are two residential facilities and they both have multiple homes per um, facility. So this position, you'll cook and then you will also transport that food over to each home. This um, position is located at our Elmwood Heights facility, which is off of Elmwood Road, um, just by like North Main, um, and the Riverside right over there. So like that Culver's is over there, the blood bank, and that kind of general area. The next one, um, our most popular position is our direct service provider position. With this position, we have a variety of shifts open. So our most popular one right now, it, you would work a mix of first and second. Um, so our first shift is 6.30 to 2.30, and our second is 2.30 to 10.30. So when scheduling, you would be scheduled a mix of both of those. And what we do here um, with this position is we do team scheduling. So every two weeks you sit down with your team and you pick your shift for upcoming schedule. So, you know, if you have like a Thursday morning docs appointment, you know, you don't have to pick a Thursday morning shift that week. Um, you just need to communicate that to your supervisors. What we do ask though is that you are available for both for the shifts you're hired for, for the whole week. It doesn't mean you're gonna work seven days a, days a week. It just means that we need you to be available seven days a week. Um, it is very hard for us to work around other schedules, but we are flexible as well. With this position, you are working hands-on with our individuals. So this could um, entail, you know, bathing individuals, helping with hygiene, toileting, feeding, um, running programs with them, you know, kind of just day-to-day -day activities with them to ensure that they um, are able to get the best out of life. Um, with this, position most of them do require driver's license but we do have some that you can be a non-driver for we just need to get it approved so when applying just note that you do not have a driver's license um, and we will try to figure something out with you um, our home coordinator position this is um, over at our Elmwood Heights facility with this position you are helping coordinate the home that you were assigned to um, this position is you oversee um, the staff on the homes that you're assigned and you work with a team of other home coordinators to develop and um, not develop help implement programs for your home 
So our LPN and our RN positions. Right now, nursing is hot here at Milestone. Um, so we are looking for nurses. You can be a fresh graduate, um, you know, have 30 years of experience or be coming straight out of school. Um, we don't discriminate on that. Um, so our nursing, we have actually created um, a new sign-on bonus for our nursing. So our nurses, if you are an LPN or an RN, we have a sign-on bonus of $5,250 for our nurses. Um, and in this, you know, we have it, um, a cruel breakdown. So at your three month, your six month, and your one year, that gets broken down in between those um, three different times. And then for our qualified intellectual disability professional, on with this position right now, the one we have is at our main D training facility industries. Um, this position will help um, implement the day training programs that we have here for them. Um, so right now, all of our individuals are at home, but we are trying to prepare for them to come back with us. Um, here, we're not, you know, jumping full forward. We are taking stuff very seriously with COVID. Our individuals are, um, you know, a very fragile population. So we want to make sure that they are safe at all times as well as our staff. Um, but yeah, so when applying, what you're going to want to do, um, I'll kind of walk you through it. So say you're applying for a direct service provider position. You're just going to click that position. And you're going to come over to the section and this has, you know, all of the kind of details, the basic function, the job description, things like that, things like that. So our starting rate of pay is up to 1208 an hour. Um, that is over with our children's facility. So at our adult facilities, our starting rate of pay is 1173. And then with our children, it is 1208. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go through and uh, fill out this section right here um, and then click apply. So you can also go to Indeed, I know we are on, and you can implement your resume and things of that nature. Um, and that is the quickest thing. Or you can go ahead and just email us. Um, and it's a really easy email. It's just hr at that milestone-inc.org. Um, and we will get to you right away. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much, you know, the easiest way to. You can also do a paper application and bring it in to us. Or you can just give us a call and we can kind of walk you through it. We are available um, for anything. But yeah, that's kind of, you know, a quick rundown of how to apply and um, what, what we're kind of looking for. Um, and I would like to point out that I did put the link that Michelle mentioned um, in the chat to be able to apply for the jobs. And then I also put that email in there so that if you would like to reach out to them via email, that link, that email is in the chat. Um, I'm going to put one more link in the chat that leads to the employer booth. Um, to Milestone, um, and they've just got some stuff posted on there, a little bit more information about their company. So if you want to review any information, you can visit that link as well. Um, did you have anything else you wanted to cover, Michelle, or do you want to open it up for questions? Um, I guess what we're kind of looking for um, with our, you know, applicants and our employees, we're looking for people that are, um, you know, open or, you know, good with communicating. We want someone who is willing to engage our individuals. Um, you know, we do have verbal, we have nonverbal, we have some who are in wheelchairs, we have some who are mobile. Um, so here at Milestone, we really have a range of individuals. Um, you know, so being able to communicate with both the verbal and nonverbal individuals is really critical with us. Um, we believe that everybody, you know, deserves to live the best life. So that's why Milestone is in place. So we're looking for someone to come in and, you know, have fun with their individuals and, you know, laugh and joke with them and, you know, have a good time, but also make sure that they're very well taken care of. Great. Um, and if you have any questions at any time, you can go ahead and type them into the chat and we can get those answered for you. Um, one question I have for you is uh, what type of background checks do you guys perform? Um, so we do have to follow the healthcare's workers registry. So if there's any charge on there um, that goes against the registry, unfortunately, we are not able to um, offer employment. If there is a waiver um, that they have in place, you know, for that charge, then we do accept those. 
Um, and then we just do like the general like sex offender registry, things of that nature. And how quickly do you guys fill positions um, from the time someone would apply to their first day? Generally, I mean, um, April and I, um, our other recruiter, we try to go through these daily, if not every other day, just depending on, you know, if we have interviews that day or not. Um, so we try to get people within, within like a week. Um, if we, if it's not a week, then two really at max. And could you describe the work attire that would be expected for these positions? Yeah, so our homes with wheelchairs, um, you are required to wear closed-toed, closed-heeled shoes. Homes without wheelchairs, you can wear open-toed shoes, but you at least, um, you had to wear, you can wear open-toed shoes, but your sandals have to at least have like a strap on the back. Um, so for closed-toed, closed-heeled, like you can even wear Crocs with like the safety strap down. Um, you know, stuff that is comfortable for you and that you can be on your feet you know, for eight plus hours a day is, you know, probably preferred for, you know, the individuals and for yourself. <laughs> so you're comfortable throughout your shift. Um, and for like shorts, we ask that there's no short of mid thigh. Um, jewelry, we don't really want any like dangly jewelry. Um, if there are behaviors on the home, you know, we don't want individuals, um, if part of their behavior is like to grab and everything, it's easier to grab onto jewelry. So we don't want, um, you know, staff being injured or anything or jewelry to be broke. Um, and we just ask that nails are no longer than one fourth of an inch. So generally like what we see our staff wearing is, you know, leggings, sweatpants, jeans, hoodies, t-shirts, um, some wear scrubs. You know, you are working with, you are bathing individuals. So scrubs are just fine as well. Um, so really anything that you're comfortable in and that is appropriate um, and, you know, you can move around in is fine with us. And what types of benefits do you guys offer? Um, let me grab. So, I'll kind of go over our benefit overview. So for our full-time employees, um, we offer health insurance. We have three different options to choose from and we go through United Healthcare. We also offer dental and vision and they share a plan. Um, we have life insurance. It's 100% employer paid, so it, and it is equal up to one year's salary. You can have um, extra life insurance. It's at a low monthly premium um, and benefits based on age. So through uh, our life, our standard insurance company, that's who we go through. Um, they have like a scale that you would go. So depending on how much extra coverage you want in your age, the premium would go based off of that. Um, once you've been here for a year, you're eligible for short-term and long-term disability. We do offer personal and sick days. So once you, um, every three months, you gain two personal days. Um, and once you've been here three years or more, you start gaining two and a half personal days every three months. Um, and then vacation days at your one year mark, you get 80 hours of vacation. Holidays, we observe um, eight, and that includes your birthday. So you can actually get your birthday paid off, or you can get the extra hours added to your paycheck, whatever you prefer. Um, jury duty, if you're scheduled for jury duty and you are actually scheduled to work that day, we'll pay that day's wages for you. In our retirement program, um, so like your 401k, we don't match, but you do become vested into um, our organization. So by two years, you're 20%. I mean, it goes up 20% every year until you're at 100. Um, so at six years, you're 100% invested. We do offer direct deposit. Um, your first check would be a physical check, so that way you can make sure like your name spelled correctly, your address is correct. Um, and our accounting department can run a test deposit on it and just make sure everything goes through smoothly. And then your check after that could be direct deposit. Um, and then we do offer tuition reimbursement. So once you've been here for a year, you're eligible for tuition reimbursement and whatever, um, we reimburse the credit rate of Rock Valley. So whatever they're charging, that's what we'll reimburse at. And then we do also offer uh, funeral leave as well. Great. Um, so are there any opportunities for promotions or pay raises? Yeah, so um, at your one year, three year, and five year, um, and then every five years after that, you um, will get a raise. And then if we get an increase in government funding as well, you know, we try to direct that funding towards staff wages. Um, so we'll go towards that. Um, and then for promotions, we have the steps higher than like a DSP. 
Um, we have a team leader and a home coordinator position that you can go into. Um, so how it kind of goes, it's like team leader, or it's DSP, team leader, home coordinator, and then like a Q up on top. Um, so for our qualified intellectual disabilities professional, you do have to have a bachelor's um, and like in a degree, like a human services. So like either human services, psych, sociology, things of that nature. Um, and we just have to get that approved through our conduct at the state. Um, so those are kind of like the general promotions steps that people could go through. Okay, and then um, would you, that's all the questions we have so far um, through the chat. If you have any questions, um, you can go ahead and type them in and we can get those answered for you. Um, if people have any additional questions after this webinar, um, should they just email that HR at Milestone Inc? Or is there an yeah. email? So let me, so um, you guys can email us at HR at Milestone, M-I-L-E-S-T-O-N-E dash inc dot org or you can give the human resources department a call and our number is 815-639-2849 and we can answer any um, questions that you guys have and i put all that information in the chat for anyone who would want it um, and has any questions after this um, i also put the link for the milestone virtual um, employer booth and a recording of this webinar will be posted there later today so if you missed anything, you can go back and review um, the recording uh, at a later date. And I do wanna thank everyone for their participation today. Um, Michelle, do you have any other information you'd like to share before we end? I think that's all we really have right now. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to give us a call. We are more than happy to talk with you. All right, thank you and thank you everyone. Uh, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you guys.